Hello everyone and welcome back to the legendary Starfy. We are continuing the spooky ghost ship with Shooting Star of 7-2. Let's go. By the way, I didn't really show these guys attacks, did I? Yeah, these they got these little fireballs, they shoot fire pillars, and yeah, they don't they don't really shoot at you so much as they shoot in the direction of you, but yeah. <laughs> so, they have something if you're at a distance, I suppose, but otherwise I don't think they're, you, that you're gonna really have to worry about um, them all that much. Unless you're, like, trying to attack them as they're going to be shooting at you, but most of the time that's not gonna be happening because you have to give them enough time to shoot at you, and usually when you're running on screen, that's not really going to do anything, <laughs> because you're faster than they'll ever be. Starfy, wait a sec. Do you hear something on the other side of this wall? Voices. You are scurvy dogfish. I saw that strange shiny storm fall right here with me own eyes. Shut it. I need some peace and quiet to think of a way out of here. Arr, it's tis no use. We're trapped. Them blocks above us are too heavy to be moved. Can't even see a star to make us a wish on. Where'd that shiny stone go? What shiny stone? Do you think they're, they're talking about one of those shards? Of course they're going to try and help them now. Quit worrying, stuff. Jeez, get it together. There should be a door above us. Let's see if we can get over there. Alright, got anything else to say here? Let's see? There should be a door above us somewhere. Let's go check out those heavy blocks. Okay, okay. So we got these things that look just like the icon for the level. What could that mean? Hmm. 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 Ah, I'm pretty sure you can guess. <laughs> we are going to be getting a new ability very shortly. So, let's go in this door. And, oh no. Oh no. Every time now, it's the five-armed fellow. He says it every time now. Calm yourself, PK Gam. Just calm yourself. It's like a meteor crashing from space, get rid of all these boxes. It's a mess. Wait, a meteor? That's it. Use your shooting star attack. If you use that attack, we could definitely... What? What do you mean you forgot how to do your shooting star attack? It's your move! I don't believe this star. Okay, now put it on the ability screen. What would you do without me? And it's a very, very similar to a ground pound. You can use this to bounce off of enemies as well to gain higher, <clears throat> to gain higher ground. You'll see as I use it. So okay, we've got oh, a shooting star. Okay, okay. Oh, yep, that box looks exactly like your move. Look at this down here. It's a treasure chest. Let's just. It's got pearls. Yeah, it's an actual treasure chest that isn't something that's required for 100% um, in the game. There's treasure chests like this hanging around the ship all over the place, but be warned, some are traps. Oh, oh, I was inside it. <laughs> anyway, this is a skull pin. There we go, and when you knock off the skull, there's a little critter inside. Well, it's not so little when it's carrying the skull, but it's a lot faster when it's out. Ah, what's wrong with me on this thing? It's not that difficult of an enemy. In fact, it's not difficult at all. <laughs> Thank you, Pearl, for recovering me from my embarrassment. <laughs> no, no. Mm -hmm. Pearls, yes. Oh, no, you don't have to destroy all the boxes. I was just doing that on the other one for the heck of it. I don't know. <laughs> and we're back in water. Um, there's a chest here, but obviously it's uh, somewhere else because there's multiple rooms here. Uh, well, I guess I'll do that. I suppose. Why not? <laughs> not gonna have another boss issue where I'm, where I'm end up, um, where I end up dying and then I have to start a whole level all over again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang, in the gobo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're just mostly a nuisance more than anything. Pearls in a dead end that's very easy to get off. Can I, like, I just wanted to check that. Oh! Well. <laughs> I wanted to check to see if you could break through that for the heck of it. For some reason, I had a hunch. But no, you can't. 
But yeah, it typically is really easy to get out of that corner there and get all the pearls because <clears throat> it's a really shallow corner. It's not like it's really far out of the way or anything. Like you see, you collect them, you go, yeah, 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 and then you go out. <laughs> but I was just messing around, seeing if I could break through this stuff. Anyway, I should trust my instinct and not try and break stuff that may not be breakable and just avoid it. <laughs> um, this is kind of funny here. This. They make it seem like this route's a lot more dangerous because, you know, there's the spiky walls, but in all honesty, I think the other one is more dangerous because you got the Indiegobo combined with the walls and you could be stalled and then end up having to restart the entire segment from the beginning as opposed to just going up a straight path with a few spikes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like here, I think I'm going to take the spiky route. Get the spiky route. Spiky route's pretty safe. Pretty good, and look at that. The, the other, the other routes even, it's even got the currents that you could accidentally make yourself spin out. And yeah. <laughs> anyway, come on, door. This is a really slow auto scroll segment. Is there anything more here? Just gonna scout out. No, okay. Just wanted to wait for a wall or something, and sure enough, there was a wall. Um, as you can tell, these are going to be return paths of sorts. Uh, you're going to see how that's going to work in a second. And, and as a matter of fact, this is like this is like a pick your destiny sort of thing, where if you want everything, you gotta try all the paths. And oh, I'll talk to Globerto. Oh yeah, it's the five arm fellow. Yeah, I'm him. <laughs> Make some more dialogue, please. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to start from, oops, from here, and pearls! What I'm looking for is, I think the door is actually in uh, one of the walls, uh, like inside one of the box part portion of the wall, so I think I'm going to start from um, the outer edges and work my way in, because obviously you can't see what you're digging into before you dig into it. Um, actually, it would be a good idea to do this... Uh, wherever there's water, so that I can do like something like this in case I get stuck in it. And then again, all the all the paths have well, water, but so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, that was the door that I need to go into, so I guess it wasn't where I thought it was. I thought I was gonna be in. Oops. Yeah, you gotta do a double jump in order to do that attack. So yeah. So I guess uh, yeah, I wasn't in one of those spots. Like I was thinking it was inside these walls or whatnot, but yeah, whatever. Alright, oh, switch, that means... Oh, 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 look at that, it's a sand snark. These guys are completely invincible. So they're more of like an obstacle enemy more than anything. Like, you can hit them. <laughs> like when they freak out when they're in front of the screen like that. Um, by the way, these, you can actually uh, shrink these uh, skeletons like that. Uh, they'll eventually get so small that, uh, you'll see. Mm, that you can actually destroy them. Um, but after you do that, it's like, uh-oh, uh-oh, well, what do you do? Well, you gotta respawn them. <laughs> Just, yeah, you can either, oh, didn't respawn. Well, I gotta leave the room then. I guess the room, this room isn't large enough to respawn the, those critters or something. Alright, so, out of my way. Come on, up, dip, up here, come on, come on. Now, angle where that is. Just. Get him set up like as high as you can, and go 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 go, and wait for it. There we go. <laughs> See, it eventually lands on the ground. It, these always always drop straight down from wherever you hit them from. So uh, you got to use that to your advantage in certain se in certain sections. Like over here, it's going to be sort of a kind of a race. You got to hit. This skeleton and like somewhere above this button, memorize the location of the button, it's right in the center of this shaft, and then hit him when you're directly above that. I mean, when he's directly above it or she, whatever, and uh, then race for the door. Just watch. Let's go right here. This is a good place. And go! Faster, faster, go, go, Starfy, go, go, go. Actually, it's not really that dangerous or anything like that because even if it recovers, I mean, uh, you, it's not that much of a race because even if it recovers, it you'll still be able to um, get him over on that button because he, he tracks you down. <laughs> but yeah, you're going to actually have to do that for realsies in other segments in future levels, so I'd 
get the practice of that down now. You know, if only I had Starly here. <laughs> nah, I don't want to play a Starly here. That's counterproductive to 100%ing walkthrough with Starfy solo. Uh, let's see what I can do here. It just looks like a, this over here is a pearl entire segment. Like you just go zigzag back and forth. Yep, that's what I thought. And get up here, and look where this leads to. Actually, you've probably already seen where it led to. Hey, Bunston. Hey, Starfy. I've been thinking about Snips, Papes, and Ronk. I know this may, may sound weird, but maybe they're not as bad as they seem to be at first. Hmm. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Uh-oh. Meat Mile. Now getting around it. We have to call the boss. Here goes. Oh boy! Maybe... He'll be in a good mood? Oh boy. That doesn't look too good. What has he done? Help me! Prince Bunston. Where have you been? Where's Bunston? Well, we've been thinking. Maybe this whole conquering the galaxy thing isn't a good idea. It's you know, not very nice. Roughing up all those bunnies just to steal their special powers. What? You question me? Listen up. Power is strength. Strength is everything. I'll give you mucus brains one more chance. You mess this up, and I'll squeeze you like a puff pastry. Wrong. And he knocks out the camera. No what? No clue. But we have to do something. Hmm. Yeah, they're in quite the dilemma. They did lots of bad things. I mean, I can't just forget about that, but somehow, Peeps and Ronk did want to give us the shard back in Skydye Heights. But when they tried to quit, Snip said, unless you want to go back to then unless you want to go back and tell him what you just said, you're taking orders from someone else. But who? Oh, I wish I could remember more, but I just can't. Maybe if I talk to you again, you will. Hey, remember what I said about this? Let's keep them between us. Mo found out he'd say I was too nice, and then I'd have to hear him yap for days. He's great, but what do you. F Wait, do you feel that? There's an energy here. The shard is closed. Let's go! Okay. So, anyway. And look at that, look at that. Look at that. Well, actually, maybe you couldn't tell from the other side, but that is indeed where it leads to over back at this segment with these boxes. In fact, I could have just like a meteor attack straight down through these, but I want to do my explanation. Look at that. Oh, thanks for your help. Me, honey. <clears throat> I don't know who you be, but we be grateful, village monkeys. Yeah, 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 you're welcome. You can pass back by telling us that shiny. <clears throat> telling us about that Chinese stone you saw. Oh, yeah, I heard her say. Well, we just had a treasure hunting trip cut short by a mega snark. What? Watch what he say. These folks looking for shiny stones, too. Yeah, you're trying to take it from under our noses, see? Could you yap on your salt fool? Let the captain try and tell. <clears throat> try to think for a minute or two. I don't know what you guys are up to, but we think one of those shards is near here. You better be giving up that searching for it. That mega snarks up one mad beast. Oh, come on! Don't tell me you guys are a bunch of scared pirates. Cowards on the high seas. Now I've seen it all. At least we were brave enough. To, at least we're brave enough to get that shard. I can't read today, can I? Alright, looks like we're out of here. What I spy. Those guys are fair strong. Might be worth tailing them for a bit. Hey, what are you guys scheming about over there? <laughs> um, uh, by the way, if you didn't notice, I, I took out the left side of these blocks first, because if you don't, you're gonna have an impo- I, sh I, sh I was gonna say you're gonna have a hard time, but you're gonna have an impossible time 
uh, going back if you want to go back, unless you destroy the left side blocks first, because obviously you can't jump um, through the column of blocks that you made once you just, you know, break through them all like that. And yeah. <clears throat> so keep that in mind just in case you need to go back. Okay, okay. Um, hold on, I just want to see what's... What's the point? What? What's the point of these blocks? Are they just there? Are there pearls inside them or something? Can I break two of these at once? I guess I can. There are pearls in there, but it's much, much easier to get them one column at a time, I think. Because I just want it right through. I mean, I should say right between. Well, I guess that's a pretty decent prize. I suppose it's pretty time consuming to get, though. <laughs> Look at how time consuming this is, and I don't even think I'll get them all in one run. Well, maybe I could. Maybe, could be, might be. Anyway. Just wanna see what's over here. Oh, okay. Uh, well, actually, I could still get further with Starfy, but eh, I'll transform into a boo. No, I'm not. I know it's not a boo. <laughs> um, ooh, there's a lot of paths here to get through with my spooky self, isn't there? Well, this isn't one of them. Well, there is, I mean, there's pearls, but what I mean is, you know, something that hides something else. No, well, that's probably not it, that door over there. It's probably in that other spiky section. Like... Yep, there it is. Okay, so... Go, 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 go! Limit to time, limit to time, go, go! Okay. Through the door. And hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, so I meet again. What a coincidence, what chance. We definitely weren't following your tail, if that's what you're thinking. Sure. Your shooting star attack is quite the powerful wee move there. What shall we. What say we share that move with us? And we'll tell you where some good plunder is to be found. This is a good deal, Yar. Um, nah, not good enough. Oh, actually, wait, don't, don't, is it a secret level? It's a secret level, right? Oh, okay, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> Yar, then if you please. Alright. Go! Very easy. You even have two chances at that uh, in the time limit because they give you plenty of time to do that. Ah, nice one. Too bad we couldn't qu quite pull off the energy it takes. If I could use that, flinging booty would be a breeze. Alas, a deal's a deal. Secret one has been added to the map. Yeehaw! Lots of very short travel distance. One dot. <laughs> anyway, moving on. With the groove on. Can I get through this without the ghostly power? I think I can. Yes, I can. I didn't need it for the rest of that because, you know, I already seen the door. You already seen the rest of the room. All right, we got a dangerous room here. <laughs> that was a jaw box. And as you see, there's a treasure chest to be had in here. Oh, and if you didn't notice, these guys respawn uh, after you defeat them. So, oh, there you. How dare you try and trap me. Mini G's challenge three. Mini Game of Cadabra, it is I, Mini G, the Mini Game Magician. For all lovers of mini games and all soon to be lovers of mini games, he says it a lot. Now is your chance! I'll introduce you to my newest mini game. Come see me in the SS Log Water when you can! And mini game opens up off of 7 1, which is kind of weird actually. But I suppose the way that the screen is set up, you can't really put anything more around 7 2. Because, uh, you know, the other path leads to 7-3. Anyway... Oh, and the secret one, of course. It's like there's only three paths. One path back, one path over to 7-3, and then one path to the secret level. So they just kind of flop that in over there, I guess. I'm gonna clear out all these chests. Just because... Gotta see what's in all of them. It's more fun that way, I think. <laughs> and there we go, we're done. We're good, we're golden. We're being launched from a screen. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. See that? Only three paths can come off of here. Well, maybe there's a little bit of room below that, but then there's the buttons 
underneath, and that would get, kind of get in the way of the the level clicker. You know, yeah, you you know, level selector thingy. Ah, I'm just rambling. Da -da 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 -da.